Hi, it's Gunson Angler. Um, I'm out in early February here. It's kind of nice, mid February, isn't it? Now? Uh, time just flies by, doesn't it? I uh, haven't been for a few weeks. Uh, various things going on at home. But yeah, I'm back out for some fresh air and what they call blue therapy today. Just to help my mind clear, clear my mind, allow me to deal with life. That, for me, is what fishing very often does for me. Um, for any of you that suffer with mental health or anything, I, I don't, but we all get stressed at times. I find nothing better than, than fishing and going and staring at the uh, rather green and grey today, isn't it? But the blue sea, so um, yeah, always been good for me. And let's go for the FS setup, which I'm surprised it snaps on me because I've been catching the line. Uh, I do have some single hooks which I need to put on these baits, but you can see it's just on a little clip. That happens to be a Gemini clip there. And all I'm going to do is I've got the brakes up high, the old maximum because I'm casting into a head rim, little or no side to side play, and I'm just flicking it out there. Letting it sink, and then I'm going to vibrate that back towards us. And if there's any pollock out there, I've let it go down deep actually. We should hit them on this. Watch the structure when I get right in close. I'm just ripping it a bit, getting it to vibrate. We'll try a slow jig after this. Uh, I can have a little short drop so I can avoid the structure behind me but still cast a reasonable distance. It's not bad. You know, that, that blade bait's probably about seven grams, I'm guessing. Into a headwind, little short rod far enough to catch a fish. Probably not going to cast as well as your spinning gear, your LOF gear today. But I'm doing it. Just the fish out. There we go. I'm decent off the spool a bit. The line feed off until it stops basically. And I know it's on the deck. I think the fish are down, down a long way. A bit too much side to side play there. If it's moving in the tide, possibly. No, it's surprisingly deep there. Right, we're on the deck. Oh, yeah, we're in. We got a fish. Down deep. Oh, I'd pull in a bit on this gear, I tell you. Give it a good. Ah! Oh. Right, we're letting it go right down to the bottom. That felt like a good fish. I suspected it was a good pollock or a big mackerel, but it was down near the deck and I was just twitching the bait like this, letting it sink, making sure it went back to the deck. Yeah, lots of good fish there. Had it under control, it was gaining ground, it felt like a really good fish. So I just got the same slow jig on, it's a different colour, it's black back and silver belly. And I'm fishing it exactly the same way as I have before. <clears throat> Just letting it sink down to the deck. Come on, fish. Something's out there. I'd be expecting a pick pollock up now. It's nice depth there. So we're just before nightfall, sort of half an hour before last light. And that's when pollock generally really like to feed. Just let it sink back to the deck again. Oh, that was a gut punch losing that fish. Oh, there's one. That picked up another there now. Whatever it is, we might see this time. What we got here, you can see the bend in the rod. Then we got a little pollock. Oh, there you go. I said the pollock would be around. It's pretty as big as the last one. Um, I think I could possibly remove the uh, bottom hook. There we go, we're in. So I thought we might contact Pollock here on slow jigs. Come out of here just before dusk, and I'm hitting what I was expecting to hit. I was expecting to hit Pollock here just before dusk. It was a bit ring fires, I think. Might be a bit big though. No, got it. I think the camera's still rolling, so. I'm just gonna pop this one on. 
So, cheap AliExpress litters, all blue. Work, they're ripoffs. Very often are with me, aren't they? But you know, it can be expensive, these things. I've already lost one today. Right, now I'm happier. Hitting far too much, many fish on the treble hook in the sides. I don't really want to do that. So, uh, I could fish just the assist hook on the, the head of the bait. But I've chose to stick a single hook on the back of the bait as well. I'm having to use a slightly heavier lure to gain the distance I want against this headwind. Oh, yeah, we're in again then. Yeah, yeah, we're in. Don't feel particularly big this one. Hopefully we haven't hit it in the side. If we have, we're definitely changing. Even though this technique is working, it feels quite small, this one. Oh, we hooked one in the mouth at last. There you go, maybe we'll stick with it. Probably why he didn't feel quite so big. Oh, and that is on the bottom hook. What a beautiful little pollock. Uh, oh, yeah, we're in. Another little pollock feels like. Yeah, and we're hooking them in the mouth now. So changing that single hook has made all the difference, hasn't it? These are actually smaller fish. And that's been hooked with the uh, assist hook. Let's have a look at that fish. What a little perfect miniature little predator. Yeah, this is great fun. I'm really enjoying this. Yep, there you go, right in tight that one took. Not particularly big again, I think. It's standard stamp. A little short drop again. They are a bit more. Just a little change of area. Down it goes. Stop it. There it goes. Just stopping every so often just to see if something will kick in, in the depths as I go down. See if something will hit it as it falls. Are you alright down there? Maybe they can't see it. I'm gonna put put a lure on with a bit of a glow to it. See if that will make a difference. So they seem to have stopped, don't they? Oh, there's one. Yeah, this don't feel bad. Not huge, but it's another little pollock. We hooked it fair and square. So right, changing lure anyway, and we're just going for a little seven gram smaller slow jig with just one assist hook on it and we're going to fish a little bit higher up um, that should cast nicely we still can yeah that's casting lovely it's a different style a bit more wobble in this one i think as it sinks cast a bit more condensed as well the weight so put cast better and fish a bit better let it go right down the bottom like we've done before and just one assist hook so we should just hook it on that come on yeah someone just did it then not hooking this at that yeah got one now there we go feels like another little pollock I'm making the old lunge yeah nice one yeah there we go have a little photograph of that one as well then. But yeah, that seems to have turned them on again. Having that bit of uh, a luminous strip on there, it's getting me in bites again, whereas the other one um, had stopped producing. Oh, yeah, we're in again. Yeah, we're in it. They're hitting it on the paws relatively close in this one doesn't feel quite so big but he makes spirited fight all right so uh we tried starting off with the hrf but that didn't work 
Uh, we give it a really good go with that. We try many Texas rigs, nothing much biting. So we came to the uh, little bit of shelter in the harbour, which didn't turn out to be that sheltered because the wind's blowing right in my face. Stuck on some slow jigs on the BFS gear and had some good sports, some pollock, and even caught a large herring. So, uh, turned out alright in the end. Hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers, constant angler.